transit in Africa. Crocodile River, Kruger National Park, our front garden. This is heaven. So just before sunset, uh, we saw this hippo moving around this little island. And lo and behold, just after sunset, she gave birth right there in front of our house. And the little one is in the water. It's just been born. And as you can see, the mother is moving off, trying to attract the little one to actually go along. So the hippo gives birth in the water so that the calf can actually move. And as you can see, this calf is really unsteady. And what's that? What do I see on the side there? It's a crocodile. And there's the little one right there next to its mother. There's the croc is paying attention. It obviously smells the afterbirth and it's going to go. Right, we're paying attention. But luckily it's a small one. There's mum. She's now trying to get her. And there's some fishes coming to eat afterbirth. There you can see just to the right of the baby. So mum walks around her trying to get her to move to the safety of the little island that she was and she lies down and she does that a couple of times and we're not sure if that's to try to get the little one to feed or to actually protect it from the water we saw later on where she actually lies down in the water stream and blocks the water from flowing so that the calf can get into the protected harbor so to speak this calf has no clue is anything else going to come along my goodness what all the water back looked at looking at it's actually a lion a lion is in the top right hand corner now the hippo doesn't really like all these water bucks so close now let's give them a chase and chase them away and there's the lion oh, and the water buck goes scattering off the lion luckily can't get across the water the lion don't want to come. So here we have a crocodile in the water, a lion on the bank. Is the little calf going to make it till sunrise? We don't know. Oh, she's almost in her safe harbor. And there she moves along. Hopefully she's going to make it. Here. Oh, there, there she goes. The mom is walking along. And finally, she's actually in the safe harbor, all done and dusted. There they spent the evening. You see, mom is protecting her. Yeah. Mom has got out the water for the first time, walked, and there is the little baby calf behind her, falling in. And the first big adventure that she does, there she is out on the water, the first big foray, she can barely walk. She's not even 12 hours old yet. The, just after this, when they got back into the water, a male hippo came and tried to drown her and bite her. But the results of that we'll see in three weeks time. So the hippo pitched here again. Three weeks later, and I see that she has a calf with her, or a calf here, and the calf has a badly damaged left rear leg. I'm not sure, as I've mentioned earlier on, whether or not she's going to make it. But let's see, they're in the shallow waters here, they're on the islands, there are five crocs around. but. Maybe she'll make it and she'll get to adulthood. I think these crocs can smell blood. They see the smell of the little one. Yeah. For the first time in three weeks, we see a mother and calf coming out. And all looks fine. The young calf is fine in the water. And then she walks out the water. And as you can see, 
her left rear got damaged. I suspect when the big male hippo tried to kill her to be able to mate with the mother again. Uh, the crocs also bit her. Now you can see badly damaged. Will she make it? Won't she make it? We don't know. Only time will tell us. Sun just setting. Hippo has exited the water with her calf. Only just making it out the water. Other hippos have come up. The crops that we have just now gone back into the water. And it's sunset on another day in Africa. Let's wait until tomorrow. Let's see what that brings us.